Welcome to part 2 of G.I. Joe the Atlantis Factor. In the last part we just finished uh, blowing up Area A. So, back to this uh, fork in the road. And this time it's the usual crew. Off to Route 3, and uh, this is actually an underwater section. You're gonna start off with these guys that shoot lasers at you. They're actually good for farming ammo and other stuff. There's just a mine I picked up. And just more mooks. These guys are pretty easy to handle now. Especially since I can just kick them. Uh, let's see, here's a rank up. Yeah, I think wetsuit's the only one that can get this. General Hawk's already maxed out. And uh, when you're diving down with wetsuit, just make sure to use that downward strike. Otherwise, you could end up just landing on one of those enemies. And just in case you needed some health. How the underwater sections work is that you can switch characters, like so, but immediately switch back because after a few seconds or so that character will take damage. Unless it's Wetsuit, he's the only one who can stay here for a long time. And there's also these guys that fire harpoons at you. They're at least pretty easy to deal with, they die in one hit. So let's just take them out. And same thing here. Just uh, keep them there for a few seconds. And then just take out these harpoon guys again. There might be some stuff that you miss in the, uh, or above water. So just make sure you go back and check those places. Because I'm at the end of the level already. So I'm just going to, uh, go back and see if I missed anything. Um, see, just a K ration. Oh, damn it, there was a power up. Oh, well, never mind, I'm just gonna go back now. Fortunately, it is quicker when you have the jump kick. Now, on to the next Cobra base. And this is actually gonna harken back to the first game, where you have uh, marks where you need to plant bombs. So what you want to do is just take out these mooks, they're pretty easy. And right here we're going to get a mini boss. It's the uh, same guy from Route 1, except he's a lot easier now that I have a laser gun. And this going on. There are a lot of mines that like to spawn in here. So just make sure you don't go too fast, otherwise you might end up getting hit by those things. And there's our first check mark for the bomb. I mean, I'm probably gonna keep calling those check marks even though those are X's, but that's only because I'm just kinda used to the first game. And as you can see, these uh, X's really aren't spaced out that much, so it's pretty easy to find a lot of them right away. As you can see, there are probably about seven in this area. And what I have to do to get those seven is to keep riding these platforms to not only get power-ups, but to uh, find the targets. And right now I'm up to level 3 with my laser cannon, so that's always good. And that's one of the problems, is that uh, you can get knocked off of platforms pretty easily. And when that happens, you have to climb up them again. So that can get kind of annoying. Also, it's pretty easy to run out of ammo in this place because there's um, not really a whole lot to work with. And since you have the laser rifle, it's pretty easy. Let's see, I missed one, so I need to go back up and to the right, because that's where it is. Alright, that's number seven. Let's just keep going to the left now. The last target is going to be much further down the line. So I'm not really missing anything here. This part's kind of tough because there are mines that like to knock you off. And um, fortunately the spikes don't kill you in one hit. So at least that's... Or that makes things a little bit better. And there's me reaching level 4 for my laser rifle so I can now shoot two lasers and they're much stronger. Just collect these POW block or these POWs. And just when you're jumping down, make sure you end up using the downward strike. 
course, that didn't matter because I fell too fast that time. And just a uh, lot of platforming to ride on. So just make sure you are patient when you're playing this level. And that's the last one. So we already planted all eight bombs. Now all we have to do is get out of here and beat the boss. There should be another mini boss coming up. And um, this, it's basically the same thing. It's just that he's only using a whip instead of a cinder block hammer. This part can get pretty annoying because there are going to be a lot of mines that spawn in. And uh, they are going to home in on you and then shoot. It's also really easy to get knocked off these things and whatever you do you have to climb all the way back up. Which is no good. So instead I will just kick you and try and climb up here. Alright well that was going well until I got hit by that last one. So I need to do this again. And, yeah, that didn't go well that time. But fortunately, that uh, other platform hung up there long enough for me to jump onto it. And I uh, just need to get this last mine out. And now we're up to the boss. Here's Cesspool. The first thing he's going to do is uh, jump and slash at you. Then the next thing he's going to do is try and shoot these bombs at you. And then the third thing is going to be shooting at you. You can abuse the hyper fist here, and uh, what that is is just hitting punch and then down. So that accounts as two hits instead of one. And um, yeah, that's just what I'm trying to do here. And the good news is that your fists are plenty good enough for this fight. So you're not really missing much if you're running low on ammo like I am. And uh, I just need to keep up with this. Oh, he's about halfway done. Also, kicking him works out really well. Now oh, I almost hit him that time. Yeah, just a jump kick to finish it. The base blows up and now he gets Storm Shadow as a playable character. And for those of you who are wondering why Storm Shadow was here, I think I said this in the first part. But, uh, he's on the Joe side in the Deke series, so that's what they were basing this on. Also, I get a pulse rifle. A lot of people find it to be pretty useless, but I actually make good use of it. I'll, uh, show you how. Anyway, on to the next route. And there's everybody. As you can see, Storm Shadow has the highest jump. He uses a sword. And he also has one of the lowest health bars. So, on to Route 4. This is another underwater section, except, uh... There's going to be these platforms that you can jump on. Not really sure what these things are supposed to be, like giant mushroom blocks or something. Guess they were playing Mario when they were thinking about this stage. I'm trying to jump kick this guy and I'm not doing a very good job. So instead I will laser him. And uh, right now I want to get Storm Shadow powered up as quickly as I can. And dive down with Wetsuit, just make sure you use the downward strike. I'm going to do the same thing here as I did with uh, General Hawk in the previous stage, and that's um, switch to him really quickly, and then get the power up and then switch back. Actually, Hawk needs that health. And now I'm up to level 2, and with Storm Shadow at level 2, he gets a, uh, or he gains a projectile to go with a slash, like so. So I just need to kill these turn guys to get more ammo. That's the good news about this stage, is that you can always refill on ammo pretty quickly. As there's plenty of power-ups just lying around here. And there's more powering up. And I know this does look a little tedious, but it does need to be done for the sake of getting your character stronger. So just more of the same, just mind the spikes. 
And I'll just take you out with a laser. I'm almost there. At level 3, Storm Shadow is actually a little different than the other characters. At level 3, he gets a uh, sliding attack where he can slide and then take out anything or anyone with a slash. And that's level 4, where Storm Shadow gets a downward strike. And because I'm greedy, I just want to get that power up. And I'm going to power up the Pulse Rifle with Storm Shadow. As I've said before, uh, some Joes would better with certain weapons than others. Storm Shadow's best weapon is going to be the Pulse Rifle. And uh, what the Pulse Rifle does is, uh, it does neutralize enemy shots. Trying to show it off. Yeah, like that. So, you could also not only, it's pretty useful for dealing with those turn guys. And, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Is just power up that weapon with Storm Shadow because the stronger it gets, the bigger the wave is. As you can see, my wave was kind of small. So it's just going to get bigger now. And just more of the same. And um, that should be some health and... Nah, sure. Yeah, I was just thinking whether or not to get the power up with wetsuit or not. But we're actually not going to be needing him pretty soon. You will see why. Now I missed him. Yeah, let's get it with Storm Shadow. The reason I got that one with Storm Shadow is because, uh, you get some health refilled depending on who you finish the stage with. And with this one, we get to, uh, infiltrate a space base. So, the same crew. On to Area C. First thing you want to do is get your rifle out and then, uh, shoot whoever comes into play. So these flying ships, they only take one shot to kill. But they can catch you off guard. Um, let's see, I'm gonna wanna... Now nah, just let that one go. God, I'm gonna wanna take out the laser and take out our old friend, the uh, Cobra Walker. And I'll just get you here. And there's a rank up, always useful for Storm Shadow. And right when I get it, I get hit. We're going to need to kill that guy because we're going to need this pass in order to enter the space complex. So I will just take out more of these guys. And you too. You can take out these walls with your fists, but it's always smart to leave a few on just so those guys' shots will miss you. And I will just do the same thing here. And now I'm up to a level 2 laser. Always good. I probably should have gotten a pulse rifle. So here we are with another mini boss. This guy's just gonna take a few steps and then try and shoot at you. I find that uh, using Storm Shadow's hand to hand attack is the best way to go. Well, you could also kick him with General Hawk or Wetsuit, but I just find this way easier. You just jump over him and then let him shoot the lasers. He'll miss you all the time as long as you jump over him fast enough. Alright, and that's it for him. There's just a guy who shoots lasers. Pretty easy to handle. And uh, just a bit more vertical platforming to do. Good news is you can take out these guys pretty quickly with Storm Shadow's attack. So he's actually really useful to have here. Just one more. Gotta mind the spikes. And we're climbing up to the space shuttle. And here it is. And now taking on the boss, this one's Firefly. He's gonna shoot a shot at you, the first phase, and then the second part he's gonna fly at you. After this, he's gonna shoot the pulse rifle. A really beefed up pulse rifle. And then jump away. So just repeat the pattern. With Storm Shadow, it's easier to hit him when uh, he's jumping up because you can use a downward strike and it won't hurt you. But it will hurt him a lot. 
and um, just more of the same, really. The good news is these boss fights do go pretty quickly, so at least you don't get bored while fighting these guys. Especially when you have, uh, or when you're maxed out on your hand-to-hand -hand abilities. And just a bit more to go. Oh, he almost got me on that one. And that's it for Firefly. There's just a space shuttle blowing up. And we get Roadblock. He's not rhyming ruined forever. But I think that's a good place to call it for today, so join me next time as I go further in the island with my new teammates. I'll see you then.